That is a lot of maggot action. Hello. Today, I'm going to show you the fastest way to compost. And that is with maggots. That's right, composting with those nasty little uh, wiggly guys, maggots, that is the fastest way to compost. Uh, this kind of composting isn't for people that have a big property where they can have an outdoor compost bin, you know, turn it over. This is for people who maybe live in an apartment building and they only have a veranda. So it's a little harder to compost on a veranda, but if you have maggots, no problem. All right, without further ado, uh, let me show you what I do. All right, so I live on the fourth floor of an apartment complex and I eat a lot of fruit and veggies which makes, uh, you know, a bit of raw waste. So I put my uh, peels and rinds and whatnot in here and every now and then I take it outside to get composted. So let me show you what the compost bin looks like. Here's my nice veranda. Okay, and here are my compost bins. <clears throat> I have two of them just in case, uh, you know, I have a busy month with a lot of fruit eating or something. Um, all right, well, let me show you what this is all about. So, inside here, we have composting food. Look at those maggots going. Yeah, so this is composting with maggots. They sure don't like the light. Once you open the bin up, they start uh, trying to dig down, get away from the light. So it's pretty impressive how quickly these guys compost. And later on in the video, I'll show you some clips of food being composted extremely quickly. It's, it's pretty impressive how fast stuff gets composted. So let me explain how this works. Um, you know, I'm composting with a living creature that needs air so I always leave this open so there's air going in there and also this allows uh, the soldier fly uh, it's the black soldier flies maggots that I use to compost so having the space here allows the soldier fly to get in there lay its eggs and eggs turn into maggots and composting gets done um, so got to leave this open there's one drawback of having this open and that is that maggots can escape and you will see there are some crawling around down here what's up buddy um, yeah well, it's interesting he's blue usually they're brown he must be uh, pretty young it could be she you know whatever but uh, anyway the maggots they will escape and before I had this <laughs> maggot jail um, the maggots would escape and go over to <laughs> The neighbors ran the space, which is not all right. That's being a bad neighbor, and I felt pretty bad about that. So I got the maggot jail, and now they stay here. So the maggots come out, and then every now and then I will clean them out. I'll just throw them over the edge, uh, down to the ground floor, and they probably turn into soldier flies. The soldier flies smell the compost and fly back up. So these guys, they're really interesting. They're very leathery. Uh, they're really hard to rip. They're actually a little furry. You can see the, f the fuzz on it, kind of shimmering in the sunlight. They've got this really hard beak on the end. Um, that's what they use for devouring uh, food, raw waste. So yeah, I'll let uh, this guy be free. Fly! All right. So what happens when the maggots eat all this uh, raw garbage? Uh, two things. One, um, it is turned into this brown, soily looking gunk. And also, uh, it turns into liquid. And every now and then, I actually have to uh, take the liquid out. Because uh, I think the bottom of the bins fill up. Let's see if I can show you what this looks like. Okay, so I moved um, the full compost bin up to the top here. Wow, it's really full, um, not just with solid material. I think there's a lot of liquid in here. So it's time to drain this bad boy. So one of the great things about composting in this manner is you get this really rich liquid. Okay, just using an old peanut butter container here. Boom. Oh boy, 
<laughs> oh, oh boy, that's a lot. Nice. This here is a soldier fly. The maggots that I'm using to compost all my raw garbage come from these guys. So thank you very much, soldier fly. You are extremely helpful. Arigato. Alright, it looks like about 12, no not 12, 16 hours, give or take, about 16 hours have passed since I put all that food in there. And let's see what these guys have done. Wow, they're trying to get out. Look at that. Whoa. Alright, so. What? In 12 hours, not 16 hours, they have devoured almost all of that food. Nice. Wow. It is October 20th, 6.30 in the morning, and I have just put a big cucumber in here. <laughs> uh, oh, that stinks. Uh, this cucumber had been forgotten about in the refrigerator a little soft so just put it in here and let's see how long it takes for these guys to go to town on this okay October 20th 4.53 p.m. so they've almost had 12 hours to snack on the cucumber let's see how they're doing Hey, making some headway. <laughs> oh yeah, they're really down in there. October 21st, 7.40 in the morning. Let's see how this cucumber is doing. Boom! Look at that. 24 hours and it is gone. Man, they're busy. Nice. Now that is composting. It's a beautiful October 11th morning, 7.02. And I have just fed my maggots. Alright. So I just put in a ton of food, morning scraps. So let's see what happens. All right, it is October 12th and it's about seven o'clock in the morning. So about 24 hours have passed since I put the scraps in the compost bin end. Wow, look at that. They are pretty much gone. 24 hours and that big heap of uh, food is gone. These guys are real gluttons. Fantastic. This compost bin has been composting for about six months now and I've decided to finally empty it out so I am putting it into my planter so I made a hole piled up the dirt over here and I'm just gonna put all the compost in there I already started so yeah simple as that oh yeah 
Now this stuff isn't fully broken down, but um, in the past I've done this and, and what happens is it just finishes composting in the planter. And the plants don't seem to mind it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, at the bottom here we can see there's some food that hasn't been really eaten by the maggots because it was hiding in the bottom, but it won't be a problem. Alright, well, I'm gonna finish doing this and then I'm gonna plant some lettuce in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hello. So, it is December now. Things are cooling down a bit. Uh, and the composting has slowed down quite a bit. As you can see, the uh, compost bin has filled up, but the bugs, are, well the maggots, they're not as active now that it's really cold. Yesterday though, we did have a really warm day. <clears throat> and we had a nice exodus of maggots. Oh yeah. Wow. No, they're not moving much since it's so chilly. They definitely slow down in the cold. Yeah, they're chilly. Not even moving. All right. Oh. <laughs> Sayonara. Okay. Yeah. Veranda gardening. Yeah, yeah. And that lettuce is doing good. All right. Peace out.